So sure enough, we made a little boo-boo, so we found out what it was. Basically, we just mounted one of these pieces too far back. Now, we originally stopped because we wanted to see how hard it would be to do it, but it's not actually that hard. It just unplugs itself. We're going to have to move one of these back just once, and then re-plug them in. That's really nice, to tell you the truth. Uh, one of the harder things about building robots and you know working with these kits is that sometimes you know you don't plan it out right or you just didn't see something coming and you have to spend hours taking things apart putting them back together again and then you waste a lot of time technical difficulty with this one. So let me just plug it in. Alright, so we're back on track. The reason why we knew we were off is because this was off. The, the blue was not in a straight line. Because what we have to do is we actually have to take one of these and we're affixing it to this spot here. So this will give the, the actual frame some stability, which is one thing we were actually concerned about because we were seeing how flexible this was. So we were like, well, you know, does this actually work? Is this gonna fit right? Now, what we're looking to do here is, how are we gonna plug this in? Because now we have this back portion that says, plug this in. And it didn't really say what to plug it in with. So, Let's see what we got here. Did we learn anything yet? So there's a little number there, it says 13. Let's see on the back, what is 13? Sure enough, these things are numbered in the back, so we might be able to find something here. So we have 4, 6, 12, 3, 5, 7, 9. Hmm. Right, let's go ahead and take these out and see what we have left. According to this picture, it looks like we're going to have to plug this in with two items. Now we have a lot of these black ones, we have these red ones here. So definitely it's not going to be these red ones, so it looks like we're going to be using these black ones to plug them in. So we're just going to kind of plug them in as we see them in the picture. Like so. And that plugs right into the back. Might have been a better idea actually. You know what, let's take these out. I'm going to plug them into the back and then just kind of sit this on there. Most definitely it's a lot easier. There we go. Sure enough, that gave this whole structure a lot of stability. Now this doesn't move around like it was before. So we've completed step 11. Now we're moving on to step 12. It looks like we're going to be using a lot of these components now. So we're going to need four of these and the last two remaining axles that we have here. Let's see how is this going to be plugged in. So it looks like we have to flip this upside down like so and then these guys actually will be plugged in here and here and on either side okay I see how this is going to be so we just plug those in there on either side that fits in nicely 
And then what we're going to do is, is that these are going to be connected. Let's see, actually from the inside out, not from the outside in. And it also looks like we're going to have to connect these guys here. So we're going to put some more black ones here. Okay, and this is going to slide right in and snaps in place. Okay, so now we've completed step 12. We've connected all of these guys here. These are still loose on us, so I'm not sure what we're going to have to do with that. But actually, the next picture makes it clear, so we're going to take some more of those small ones that we used before, like we used here, and we're just going to slip them over. And that's going to be holding these in place. Okay. So we've connected those. Now we're going to have to take one of these and two of these. So two of the black connectors again to this little piece here. And that's actually going to go right here in the back. All right, so that's complete step 13. Oh, now it's starting to take shape. Step 14, we're going to take all the wheels. That's great news. And we're just going to slip them over. Now, this is kind of, an, I'm experimenting to see how we're slipping these over because I'm not really sure. But it looks like this X shape is going to be facing inside. Okay. So those are all plugged in. And we see that there's some things sticking out the back. So now what's next? Doesn't look like we're going to be closing them off just yet, but according to the diagram, step 15, we're going to be putting on the treads. One tread. Here's a second tread. There we have it. We have some Legos that we've constructed we've used to construct our first little robot and it's finally starting to take some shape here and then we're actually going to use four of these gray things here these gray connectors and those look like they're going to be plugged into the axle so that these wheels don't pop out which is great we're actually looking for that step and those slide right in they actually go recessed into the uh, wheels hub not sure if you can see it there but that's really nice means it won't come out easily. And the last one, here we go. So just to kind of see where we're at, back two are just free mo moving wheels. They don't really do anything. The front two are the ones that actually have the motors. So as you notice right here and here, this orange is basically what dictates where the servos are going to be pushing from. Also in the front here we have one, which I'm not really sure what's going to be used for yet, but this is what we have so far, and it's starting to come to you know come to life. Now, step 16, 